got six memos on my desk from the legal department reminding me about Caldwell's renewal. How'd your lunch go yesterday, did you? Are you awake? <laughs> I've been all night. You look terrible. What's happened? Nothing much. I just lost the Caldwell account and my wife all in one week. What? That's horrible. I know. I can't believe it. Your wife, too, huh? <laughs> oh, well, it's par for the course for newlyweds. It'll work out. But what about Caldwell? Well, what do you want me to do? The man can't recognize a good advertising campaign when he sees one. All right, Darren, but I, I better get someone else busy on the account. And don't feel too badly about it. Happens to all of us. I don't care about Caldwell. I was talking about your wife. <laughs> but don't feel too badly about Caldwell, either. You've got a great batting average. You got to whiff one once in a while. I didn't whiff anything. I was right on top of it. I just came up too late with the answers, that's all. What do you mean, too late? It's never too late. If you've got the answer to this campaign, tell me. We can still hold the account. I could lock up Caldwell in two minutes if I wanted to. If you wanted to? Don't you want the sun to rise tomorrow morning? Don't you want to live to a ripe old age? Don't you want me to live till tomorrow? <laughs> Don't you want the most important person in the whole world to come back to you? Of course I wanted to come back. I mean Caldwell! <laughs> All right. Take a look at those layout boards in the desk. There's your campaign. Go ahead. Live. Erase the space at the table. The pot's right. A pretty kettle of fish. Darren, this stuff is great. You're a genius, you hear me? You're a 100% unadulterated genius. I'll have Caldwell back here in 10 minutes. He'll get down on the floor and kiss your feet. Uh, and Darren, get yourself cleaned up. I'll try. <laughs> the race for space at the table when you serve Caldwell's leek and potato. The pot's right, Caldwell's soup. A pretty kettle of fish. Mr. Caldwell, this campaign is not only clever and humorous, but it has taste. That sousson of something extra that Caldwell soups always looks for. Darren Stevens, I take my hat off to you. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? It's gimmicky. Gimmicky. Mm. Gimmicky. <laughs> Did you say you didn't like it? That's right. It has no good old-fashioned romance in it. You mean you really don't like it? Hmm. No warmth, no love, no sex. Sex? <laughs> well, I don't suppose there are many of us left who look upon soup as having sex appeal, but I do. I always will. And you're not going to buy it? I'm sorry, Stephen. That's marvelous! <laughs> What's the matter with you? You wouldn't understand, Larry. My... <laughs> Mr. Caldwell, are you absolutely sure you won't change your mind? Oh, absolutely. Mr. Caldwell, I'm eternally grateful to you. Wait a minute. Have you become completely uncorked? Where are you going? I'm taking the rest of the day off. You don't mind, do you, Larry? There's something I've got to do, and I've got to do it before it's too late. And thanks again, Mr. Caldwell. That's perfectly all right. That's perfectly all right. <laughs> Mr. Caldwell, before you leave, I can assure you that McMahon and Tate will come up with a campaign that will be everything you expect it to be. I know that we can deliver, and I know that you'll buy. I hope not. It'd be a shame to make that poor boy unhappy again. <laughs> <laughs>